What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. There was a time when seeing a Kinrath was a rare thing. They mostly were around some caves to the south of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous too. More vicious than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west too. The west is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. I gave the Republic the best years of my life, and I understand they're under pressure. But I think that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. Some law and order, for one thing. Take what I'm doing right now. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kund on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it. But I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You've got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. I know how this works. A mercenary or two can easily get work during the dry times as a bounty hunter or bodyguard. There's always odd jobs around, but large mercenary groups have to wait for things to get interesting to 
make their credits. It can be very lucrative and challenging work if there are battles to be fought. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? Then maybe we can get along just fine. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers... We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Gizka like them. They don't do anything to help themselves, and they don't know how to... how to take responsibility. They're on their own, and either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. I have time to kill, and talking about Dantooine just irritates me. Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. A sentient by the name of Asgul. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back, and we were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. I have time to kill. I can't wait for the salvagers to ship off this planet. Look who's walked into our camp, boys. Mandalore himself has come to visit us. I am the new Mandalore. I have reclaimed Mandalore's helmet, lost after our defeat at Revan's hands. Assemble the rest of your clan. You will return to Duxon. We must come together as we were before and prepare to fight a new war. A war that will return us to glory. And if I take that helmet from you, guess that makes me the new Mandalore. I've always wanted to be called that. I know all about your exploits, Mandalore. We have fallen far in the past years, but even still, I will not stand idly while a usurper claims to be my leader. It is unfortunate that you feel that way. Perhaps I'll be able to change your mind. We'll see about that. Any other takers? No, Mandalore. We will follow you. I have no desire to spill any more Mandalorian blood. Gather your clan and return to Duncan. You have seen the last of your mercenary days. Yes, Mandalore. Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. But I have a problem with you. Flaming outsider taking away our work. This is mercenary territory. We don't want anyone getting in our way. We're the real boss on this planet, so stand clear of us. You serious? 
The settlers are no more than herd beasts. Her handful of militia don't run this place. We do. You fight in any wars? I fought in the Jedi Civil War. I guess you don't look like much of a salvager. Sides don't matter much. We're all soldiers. Most of us mercenaries work with the Sith. Not too many Republic soldiers survive the war. I thought you were one of those useless salvagers. Or perhaps an uppity settler. I've had about enough of their attitude. So I figured blasting one of them would have done me some good. It's been a while since we've had work. You were a soldier too. So you know I'm not going to answer you. I... Uh, I want to answer your question. Oh, my head. I don't know for sure. I hear rumors. I heard we got a secret job working with some powerful organization. No one tells me who. I know we're planning an attack soon, but I don't know against who. They aren't too far, though, because we're expecting to attack soon. I told you what I know. Someone rich and powerful. We're not gonna have to hit up settlers for food and supplies anymore. I don't feel so well. I feel dizzy. I gotta go now. The warrior returns. Getting tired of this planet yet? We've been planet bound too long for my tastes. What do you want? Stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. That's the best deal you're gonna get here.
Yuta pak mito, hai best nik ta dochi ma pa krawe nosha. Wata lorts chi ba fuso ba chila no ba chuba nok. Ya tuka u wan rika chotin wani ma orata wakata chi luma lispa. Huta ya nolia, chukta gene chuba wanki na jung we noton ma no mi rita. Kavanata kalu, kavana mi donki grato. Kavanata kalu. Cavana mi donkey crato, Bram tava ni socio. Da come just mak miki baranye to so so rica chondin? Wana magrable moko. Ya tuka u wan rica chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lispa. Bram tava ni socio. Da come just mak miki baranye to so so rica chondin? Wana magrable moko.
Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. The crystals here do not drain Force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the Force. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. responds to you. This is very rare indeed. The crystals bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve and the force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light. <laughs> 